Hey, what's going on friends and family? Welcome back to another episode of BKO Reviews and today the gods have finally allowed my package to be delivered and man, I have to say I am so excited about this one. Uh, yeah, I put in raffles. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get this pair uh, for retail, but I'm not going to lie to you guys. I had to pay resale. I know it's hard for, for me to say, but I had to. Before we get started with any of that, I definitely want to encourage everyone to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed the content. And also, guys, please subscribe to the channel. It's the best way of staying up to date with the most recent content. And with no further ado, let's get into the review. Like I said earlier, I had to pay resale on this one. Uh, I purchased this one from StockX. I'm not really a fan of StockX, but unfortunately, I had to pull the trigger. So, let's get started. I'm not really seeing a lot of stores that release this pair locally. Um, so I was a little bit disappointed about that. Um, I did enter a lot of raffles for this. The majority of them was online and they were like overseas raffles. Nothing local. Though. Get all of that out of the box. Voila. As you can see, you have your purple Nike SB box with your branding all over it, as you can see. Let's check out the size label. As you can see right here, it is a Nike SB Dunk Low Pro Premium. We love to see that premium on our tag labels. Want that to focus. Style code is CV1655600. And the actual color scheme is Atomic Pink, Atomic Pink. So you might have an idea what these are. Like I said earlier, I did purchase it from StockX. Ah, this is the total amount that I actually paid for them. Yeah, guys, it definitely wasn't something that I wanted to do. But unfortunately, like I said, yeah, move all of this out of the way. right here are definitely nice got a little something something right there but yo these whew, man i really wish you guys could see this the camera is definitely not doing this sneaker any justice but this right here is definitely nice if you're not familiar with this silhouette this is the nike sb dunk low pro pink pig and the name pretty much says it all. If you're not familiar with this, the concept comes from, I think it was the 1971 uh, Le Mans Race Grand Prix. Uh, Porsche released, um, not really released, they debuted one, one of their cars. I think it was the 91720. And it had uh, like the pink pig choppers, uh, like a, a butcher's diagram of how to dissect a pig. And it was all pink and then it had the outline in red. So that's where the nickname Pink Pig came from. And Nike hit this one out of the park. First off, as we can see here in the upper, you, it's all suede. The entire sneaker is suede. But as you can see, it does have your red stitching all throughout. Has it here along the eyelids of the sneaker. Goes down the side panel. The swoosh even has it as well. You have an all white outsole or midsole and the outsole is black 
as we go to the toe box, like I said earlier, look at this. I have a little something here. I'm not sure what that is, but it's nothing major. But like I said earlier, guys, this is all suede. As you can see, you have the double stitch in here along the toe box. You do have two sets of laces. It has the pink laces that's already in the sneaker, as well as the red. As we go up the tongue, you have your standard fat tongue on any SB dunks. As you can see, you have your brand in here at the top of the tongue or your patch. As we go to the mid panel or side panel, you can see, like I said earlier, it is all suede. You can see that red stitching all throughout the sneaker. As we go to the back of the heel, you have your Nike brand in here and your red stitching as well. Uh, let's see if we can see the insole. Well, the insole is pretty standard. That same pink insole says uh, Zoom Air on it. It's Nike SB, as you can see. You do have your more brand on the back of the tongue. Let's check out the size label. Voila, production date is 729.20 to 1014.20. This one has the StockX tags on there. As you can see, here it is right here. Verified, authentic. Yeah, this is definitely nice. I know they are. Nike is definitely releasing, I think it's the golf pair, which is kind of like that teal with the orange and it has the 85 in the back, like stitched in. I do like that pair, but I don't know. For me, this pair was definitely hitting different, in my opinion. Yeah, man, you really got to see these in person, guys, like this. This pink is definitely nice it, and and what's so crazy about it it's not really like a bright pink uh it is a very soft pink and the material on here is this is definitely a1 and that's the thing i don't understand i feel like a lot of time uh sbs uh with the retail of 110 dollars they definitely put a uh, premium material into their sneakers I feel like, you know, Nike should definitely put that premium material into a lot of their general release. And when I mean premium, I mean like, this is very nice suede here. Some areas might not be as as good, but overall majority throughout the sneaker, the suede on here is very nice. So let me know what you think. Is this a pair that you was actually trying to get your hands on? Uh, was you able to secure this pair and add it to your collection? Um, I'm not really sure what the resale value on it now is on StockX. I know sometimes it goes up and sometimes it goes down. And like I said earlier, I had to pay a uh, third market price. I wasn't happy, but, you know, I needed to add this to my collection. Uh, definitely want to thank everyone once again for tuning in to another video of BKL Reviews. Uh, like I said earlier, guys, if you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed this content, only thing that I ask of you guys to hit that thumbs up button. It's free. Really doesn't cost that much. Um, and also subscribe to the channel. It's the best way of staying up to date with the most recent content. You can also follow me on these social media platforms. And once again, I want to thank everyone for tuning in to another video of BKL Reviews.